While the global fight against HIV is not over, new analysis from the CDC shows a dramatic increase in the number of people receiving life-saving HIV treatment. 12 News' Tia McKenzie has more about the new findings and strategies in the fight against HIV. For almost 20 years, the U.S. President's Emergency Plan for AIDS, or PEPFAR, has invested over $100 billion in the global HIV-AIDS response. But the race to end HIV is far from over. According to the CDC, the lack of resources in many countries led to countless deaths, but PEPFAR and its partners estimate there have been approximately 25 million lives saved. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say they're on the path to eliminating the global health threat by 2030 with a five-year strategy. And the first thing that we at CDC try to do is to understand where, among whom, when, and how HIV infections and negative outcomes for people living with HIV exist. Strengthening lab systems, training healthcare workforces, and fostering partnerships are a few of the CDC's strategies in the fight against HIV. Today, more than 38 8 million people worldwide are living with HIV and each year 1.5 million people newly acquire an HIV infection. The CDC is pushing to close the gap and reach populations most affected such as youth and men. At an individual level we want to design programs and deliver services that really have people and patients at their center and make them accessible, desirable and available to people to participate in. In Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.